Well, how do the chums? As I, Captain Steve. Today I'm doing a playthrough of the demo of Phoenix Rising on the PlayStation 5. So I'm just going to choose normal difficulty, I think, chums. There we go, let's hit that one up. Okay, and um, press that button over there. Ah, oh, you have to hold it down. Fair enough. Sweet. It's odd holding down that little weird button over there to actually start the game. There we are. Okay, cycle hints. Okay, I didn't get much time there. Lighting, loading times are super lickety split and quick. Well, hello there, Wolfie the Qua. Hello there, my friend. Hello, hello. The sun oh, sorry, rose on the there. palaces and temples Ooh. of the Golden Isle. Their facades still and empty. The gods within lost. But not Phoenix. Fighting with all her might, she had nearly reached Olympus on her quest to defeat Typhon, the dreaded god destroyer. But first, she would uncover. What a beautiful a looking game. Secret. Phoenix had arrived on the shore where the great warrior Philoctetes had been left to die. A snake bite festering on his foot. Oh, this has been the race by Prometheus. Interesting. Rider? Why did Odysseus pick him up and I carry him to all? the Trojan War? A war in which Philoctetes was fated to kill Paris, the instigator of the very war that... Oh! <laughs> it's Zeus! Stop fantasizing about random nobodies and tell the real story. What real story? <laughs> Phoenix was about to enter the domain of the Cyclops, where world-famous hero and sailing enthusiast Odysseus had nearly met his end. Brilliant it was game there I've nearly got that she the was destined to discover okay. the lost secret of the gods. Zeus, the Cyclops' cave was in the Great Sea. Don't care. Also, <laughs> forget the cave. I want to appreciate the view. You can't just ignore historical accuracy. That's your problem. Accuracy. I'm really liking the banter between I these can. two gods. And what is the secret of the gods? Oh, you don't know about that, do you? Oh, master of knowledge? Well, well, listen and learn. Brilliant. I'm liking the humour. It, it's good. Okay, so oh, that, that I'm liking. What a view! <laughs> what a view. He wanted the view, didn't he? There we are. Brilliant. Now this game oh, takes a picture. Anyone in there? Photo mode is the Cyclops. Oh, of the he's got photo mode. But he was How do you trigger photo the mode? Poor wretch had been frozen by the sea witch Circe's icy magic. Circe is on another completely <laughs> different island. Or is she? Brilliant. Also, she doesn't have ice magic. Not ice. I see. She sees things and then transforms them. Well, like Medusa. She doesn't have that ability either, does she? You know what? I bet you that you cannot enlighten us with one truth during your story. Not one. <laughs> What's your favorite fruit? The fruit from Grandma Magaya's garden. Gods, I miss the taste. The juice was so rich, it would flow down my chin. Divine. Well, this is the first time oh, yeah. I've played this Banana Tom. This Those is just a demo. Um, the game is actually on half babies. price at the moment, so I figured I'd From give the demo a go, see if I half you like it. You know, that's it, just eh? a visual metaphor, right? The fruits of the earth are not literally babies. Ah, that explains the soapy after this. Right. <laughs> if I lose the bet, you will be allowed to partake of the fruit. this is a bit like that no, Netflix show with the, the, the Vikings Phoenix sort of thing. realised only the song like of it. the sirens would free the Cyclops from Circe's spell. Circe, you're mine. So when this was originally oh, de demoed, it was Not called quite. Gods and Monsters. Circe and her pops, Poseidon, had sent reinforcements. Okay, right, there we go. I won sword attack. Take this with my sword of steel. Ah! Right, I need to know what a dodge button. The dodge button. Oh, square. I think is dodge. Yeah. Take this, you. Oh, battle axe. Where'd that axe come from? Oh, that's R2. L1. R2 is X. Square is dodge. Right, you guessed. Okay. Hold on. There's L1 down there. It looks like special abilities. Heck yes, we're going for those. Okay. Ha! Spears in the backside! How do you like them, guys? <laughs> okay, friends! Big hammer! Okay, 
<laughs> Take this! Wow! Okay. Combat feels fairly fluid. The combat feels fairly nice. And look at these visuals. It's like being in a freaking oil painting. This is like Robin Williams, What Dreams May Come. Freaking heck, it's nice. Potions, are these potions? Can I pick these up? Are they potions? I don't know. I've got freaking wings! Oh, I can smash stuff. Sweet. Can I actually go in water? Let's, let's see. Last time I tried this on Biomutant, I drowned very early on. This water is not drownable by the looks of things, which is probably a good thing, because I probably would have drowned then. Right, okay, so we've got this meter at the top. It's got some sort of weird Zeusy type looking symbol. We'll follow that. Okay, brilliant. Oh yeah, it says up in the top left corner, Odysseus or just above my head. Approach the, the edge of cliffs. The siren song on his mechanical wings. Sorry, I can fly. I can, I, I can fly. He stolen from Circe's weaponarium and massage parlor. <laughs> you know that parlor. Odysseus visited Circe after Polyphemus. Well worth it, Cap. But Basically, on. really Phoenix good fun. God of War so with no seriousness. Wingless. Brilliant. This she just perfect. had to believe. Okay. Alright, fair enough. Uh, okay. Approach the cliff edge. Yes, I'm on the cliff edge. Okay. Press X and then hold circle to glide. Okay. Phoenix hurdled through the Sweet. air. Sweet! And then a miracle. Odysseus's wings appeared. No, on her this back. is so cool. By the gods, I can fly. Thank you, yes, you can, Phoenix. Odysseus, and she's had them the entire time. This game Prometheus. provided me with what I'd say the best VP shot. Oh, the virtual photography shot. I haven't seen the actual um, the way to trigger photography mode, so I have no idea how to go into photo mode yet. Aha! We've got some bad guys here. Let's kill some bad guys. Hello, bad guys. Yes! Yeah! In the air! In that freaking head! Giant axe! Back to sword! Oh, this is quite fluid actually. This is quite nice. Come on! Boom! Superpowers! Oh! Who would you like that? Freaking hammer to the head! Dead! Dead! How did you manage to survive with so much energy? Budge in no way! Oh, we can parry as well. Who needs to parry when you have a big frickin' axe? Okay, done. Oh, uh, I, okay, both buttons at the same time. I've tr tried that one, that did not work. That did not work. I, it, uh, maybe it's not in the demo. It might not be in the demo, Mr. Banana Thomas. Right, okay, let's head over here. Let's open this one. Open Sesame Wire with my frickin' foot. Hold on, there's, there's a lot of gold there. You, you, need a, you need a backpack. Or something. There's a lot of gold. Okay, infantry. How much gold did I just steal? Not much. Okay, fine. Lovely. Oh, I've got a freaking reindeer. Why have I got a Why have I got a reindeer in in my inventory? I have no idea. Okay, we'll just press on. We, we won't worry about that. Let's just go. Sweet. Awesome. Great. I'm in crouch mode. I don't want to be in crouch mode. Run, Dilly, run. And fly. Take to the sky. Okay, I've still got 193 meters to go. Or whatever. Oh, hello there, Nella Doodle. I'm trying out this beautiful, beautiful demo. This is Fenrix Rising. And yes, you take control of young Fenrix, a lovely lady. Phoenix could um, takes on the gods, the I guess. Of the gods in her clutches. Oh, she would the rule gods. over all Olympus. You know she's trying to save all of you. Why would she do that? Maybe because we gave the mortals fire. Ah, yeah, I, I can do with a little rock bit for more help. Uh, there we go. We've got our stamina Good back. Point. The stamina fills up rather quickly, Why which is great. Exactly. Awesome. And I'm going to climb up the waterfall. Budget. We're going to climb the waterfall. Let's go. Because that marker is behind the waterfall. Can I jump and climb? Can I? Yes, I can. Like this is the way we go then. Oh, cheers for that, Wolfie, for dropping a link to Nell's channel. Nice one. So yeah, Nell and a few others, I think, are going to be uh, streaming Elder Scrolls Online when it drops. I've been looking at it, you know, the, was it Gate of Oblivion or Oblivion Gate? And there's another new side adventure as well, Black something, I'm not too sure. But yeah, it does look quite good. Uh-oh, I could end up falling and dying. Oh, fudge, bollocks. I'm run out of stamina. Yeah, there I go. Not the best idea then, climbing the waterfall. Oh fudge, I think I just killed her. <laughs> I killed her! Oh fudge. Okay, well that, that was short-lived, wasn't it? 
Okay, let's go. Let's have another try. Phoenix couldn't wait to have the secret of the gods in her clutches. No, she and she climbed a waterfall and smashed her face on a rock. trying to save <laughs> all of you. Why would she do that? Maybe because we gave Okay, let's try and going up here. Yeah, there might I be some more resting points for all eternity way. as punishments. That was probably a bit daft climbing a waterfall she to with such you? a little stamina. Exactly. Right, here we go. Let's go up here. And hopefully I can rest on this rock, get some more stamina, and do the rest of the climb. I was so close though. I was so freaking close then. Here we go. This is such a beautiful looking game. I mean, look at that view. Look at that vista. Oh, thank you, Warping, for dropping down Banana Tom's channel there. So, yeah, Banana Tom is doing a heck of a lot. He does quite a fair bit on the old Destiny. Big fan of Destiny. Does a bit of No Man's Sky content from time to time as well. An awesome guy in the community. Great sense of humour. So go check the guy out. Freaking ace. I bet you'd be glad you did. Sometimes he even plays in a banana costume. Yeah, crazy. Right, so let's head on up here. Coolio. I'm not too sure what... Oh, I guess they're blowing, so if I wanted to fly back there, I can get back there doubly quick. But we're going to head where this shiny medallion is on my map, because I think that's the mission marker. Oh, there's the deer that I've got in my infantry sack, I think. What the fudge is that all about? It's Greek mythology, isn't it? You know, Who knows? Lots of us will be streaming ESO. Yeah, I took a look at it, and being that it's still PlayStation 4, it, it hasn't had that graphical uplift, I don't think, for PlayStation 5 yet. I'll probably hold out and see how the reviews go and stuff and watch you guys play. Oh, okay. <laughs> you make up your mind, Zeus! What the fuck? You're not serious. After all Are that, you're going to put me up against the, the uh, remnants of KFC. Seriously. By Poseidon I guess so. There we go then. Come on. Hold L1 and R2. L1, R2. Oh, brilliant. Shortcut keys. I like. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I get it now, yeah. I'm low on stamina again. I could do with something that ups my stamina a bit more than what I've got, to be fair. Yeah, take this, you little cockerel. Smash! Okay. You're gonna die, little cockerel. Yeah, you belong on a torn plate packet, not fighting Fenrates. No. Don't grab Rooster of Fluffiness. Well, I guess you're not fluffy, you're more feathered, aren't you? Take this! Yeah. It's like Zelda all over again. Ah. Big axe to the face, and you're dead. Phoenix had almost recovered the siren song, which ah. would dispel Cersei's curse. The only right. way to do that is with herbs. I'm saying this as a friend. You need to cool it with the herbs. You get paranoid, it's awkward. Anyway, <laughs> Phoenix felt the invisible you hands call it with of the her ancestors giving her the strength to move mountains. That's okay. not the strength of her ancestors. She's wearing that one the goes in of there. This isn't some magical object. And I need two more. I'm going to guess there's one. Prometheus. It's to love. the left or right of this board. Oh no, let's go to this red thing over here. Hold on, is there any markers anywhere that show me where these blinking things are? Okay, we'll just go up here. Let's have a look, see. Right, there's a pressure thing here. Let's pick that up and put this on this pressure plate. Let's just see what that does. Sweet. Okay. There's a pressure plate in there. Looks like you can jump over that. So does that mean I can get this over there somehow? No. Alright, well I'm going to jump on the box and then I'm going to jump over there myself. Oh, I can climb. And then I'm going to stand on the pressure plate. I can let go of the frickin' wall! Let go! Let the fudge go! How do I make a not sticky? Oh, there we go. Now she's not sticky. Brilliant. Now let's pick this up. Put that on the plate, and then I can jump over it. Ha ha! Done! Puzzle solving, Captain Steve! I've got myself a marble. Lovely, lovely marble. You eventually get attack and defend potions that bind up and down. Oh, okay, the D-pad. Oh, sweet. Oh, fudge. I just dropped my freaking marble reading the chat. Arse. 
Okay. How do I get that marble out of there? This is not going swimmingly. Mount... Get off the frickin' wall! Okay, um... I think I've fudged up. Like, majorly fudged up. I don't think I can get that out of there. It's not giving me the levitating move thing. And it, uh, but... And she keeps just grabbing hold of the frickin' wall! Okay. Stop grabbing the wall. I need you to knock this marble out of the frickin' pond. Okay, how do we get the marble? Ass. Okay. Well, that screwed that up. All right. Well, we know where that is. We come. We worry about that one in a bit. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Ah. Oh. Eventually, yeah. I've gotten stuck with marble in the in the freaking pond. I was supposed to walk down the stairs. I was reading the chat, thinking I'd go down. No, I fell into a blinking pool of water. Hello. Are you a friend or are you foe? Okay, that answers that freaking question. Run away. No, nope. you're a god. Have that. Slappity slap of a giant freaking axe. Yeah. How'd you like that? Uh oh. He's a bit bigger. Right, big guy. You're going to need one of these on your head. Yes, you are. Yeah. You're going to need some freaking paracetamol for that one in the morning. Pretty fudge. Heal. Heal, heal like the wind. Die, you get. Oi! No stabby stabby! Bad man. I'll teach you. Okay, right, so I'm guessing this one goes on the feather one over here, because that was like all the others at the opposite side. And I guess the big bear one, I'm going to have to push that onto the other one, aren't I? Let's push this this way. Lovely jubbly. Check to see if you have the telekinesis power. Level 2. Oh, hold L2 and triangle when land. Oh, no, but I have got a bow and arrow when I hold down L2. What the fudge? Okay. And then R2 is quick shot. All right, nice, nice. But I've got an R1 move there. Oh, you can control the freaking arrow. Arrow of destiny. I'm gonna make it hit that little blue marble if, we, if we're dexterous enough. Take that blue marble. Oh, that was that was uneventful. <laughs> okay, here we go. Right, there we go. It's it's kind of on there. That's not on there enough. All right, push, push, reckon push it, Fenrix. There we are. Done. We have a second marble to accidentally drop in water. Let's take this then. Ah, hold on. I see what you're saying. L1 and then maybe that one that's got the rock on it, perhaps. I don't know. We'll, we'll give it a go in a minute. Hopefully I can get it out of that freaking water. Otherwise we're a bit scuppered in this demo, aren't we? Okay, let's put that on there. Sweet! Now we just need that one. The one that I accidentally dropped in the freaking drink. Ass. Okay, um... L1, triangle. Ha! Yes! Thank you, Banana Tom! I have got that skill. I do own that skill. Sweet. Let's head on over here. And we're going to stick this one in place. And I think we're done with this puzzle. Whoops! Wrong button! Where'd my freaking ball go? Oh, what a bitch. I pressed the wrong button, Tom. <laughs> Where'd it go? This isn't even funny. Where'd my freaking ball go? I pressed the wrong button to drop it, and um, it, it's. I think I've launched it into space. It's somewhere up there. <laughs> no! Oh, for fudge's sake. Okay. Um, did you yeet the orb? I think I just yeeted the orb. Yes, it, it's, it's freaking gone. Um, bollocks. Uh, I have no idea where that went. <laughs> It might have destroyed it. I wonder if it's put it back on its pedestal. Let's just... Fingers crossed, eh, chums? Otherwise, I might have just completely minced this. Um... <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. This is, this is why I don't play these sort of games. <laughs> oh, shite. It's not there. It's not there. Yeah, use rest to make time pass faster. Or reset myth challenge. Hold what? 
And that went too freaking quick. Unavailable in your current location. Buy the game. No, I don't think I will, since I've just uh, managed to, you know, yeet something up into the air. Hand Give me back the freaking tutorial. What's this yes. do? Okay, um... Alright. Oh, great. Now I'm a prisoner of my own freaking devices. Awesome. Okay, well, don't want that one. Okay. Ass. That did not work. Alright, how, how do I reset this? Let's hold it. Unavailable at your current location. I'm sure it was hold that button. If it's not letting me do it, I think I've completely bollocks this up, people. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I think that's um I think that's done it. Um because I have no idea where that little blue orb went. Okay. Let, let's let's see. Let's see what happens if I do it to another one. Alright. Okay, hold that to rest when in a safe spot. Oh, okay, it does, that doesn't reset the thing. Okay, where'd that one go? Alright, I think we've found a way to get rid of these balls with magic. Okay, let's, let's get rid of this one as well. Where do they go? Where the fudge in Olympus do they go? I think I've managed to find a bug with this. People. <laughs> Well, if you're going to knack something up, you may as well do it properly, you know what I mean? Okay. Yeah! Yeah, that, that gets rid of them. I think I've managed to... Yeah, this is strenuous work, bulls in up a game. Okay. And, uh, yeah, let's pick that one up then. Wow! They just vanish. Oh, no, look, there's one. There's one. There's one behind this harp over here. Are they all over here, by chance? No, there's that. There's just one. I don't know where the rest have bloody gone. Yeah, I think I've gone and I think I've really messed that up. Yeah, there's one there. There they go on the plaque in front of you. Yeah, just there's one there. But I can't see the. Yeah, I know where they go. I had one left to place. I had one left to place, and I accidentally pressed the wrong button, and now it launched it into the air, and they've all disappeared. So I need to start the game again. Um, reset demo. Here we go. And let's let's start again. Let's let's not press the wrong wrong button this time. What the fudge? Yeah, I, I I understood how to do it. I pressed X to put it down, and rather than put it down, it catapulted it up into the air. Let's uh, let's let's just go normal again. Okay, cool, awesome. Let's go. Let's do this. Sweet. I was hoping that I'd put all those on there, and maybe you know that Cyclops at the start that would all like frozen. I was hoping he would come to life and we'd get to battle him or something. Is and can I skip all this? Yes, I can. Sweet. What skippity skip, skip, skippity skip, skip, skip. Yeah, we've had it all before. Lovely. Now I'm not normally a fan of UBI oh, soft games. What a view. That said, I have been looking out for. Um, what was it Beyond Good and Evil 2? That one I'm really looking oh. forward to. Anyone in there? And I was looking forward to this, and I saw it as gods and monsters. Um, but yeah, I never picked this up, mainly because they you gave everybody what? early access, you, and everybody stuck their reviews out and things, and I thought, you know what, I'm, I'm not even a bother, because it all been seen, it all been done. And that they even put it on Stadia like a month beforehand, it was just ridiculous. Take this! And I don't think anybody's going to want to watch me do a play for it. In full. So I think, it's, well, let's have a bit of fun with the demo and just at least find out what it's like. But it looks like I've managed to find a bug right at the very start there. With um, <laughs> I don't expect. They, they, I guess they can't plan for every stupid eventuality. You know that was just a bit idiotic pressing the wrong button. But you know I'm new to the game. I'm sure somebody else has done that before. Fun times. Yeah. It would have helped if they actually showed on that top bar up there, you know, how you could actually find those marbles that I'd catapulted into the stratosphere. There we go. Odysseus had taken okay. flight to the run, island run. of the Siren run, Song and run. his What a beautiful wings. world this is, though. I just want to kind of explore and not Cersei's bother doing the demo, but I don't know and how much power. I can explore of this you know world. That Odysseus in demo mode, after it's very, very nice. But go on. Be Phoenix right back. So no worries, Tom. Hopefully Wingless. I'll be back to where I got to before in a sec. Now that I know what I'm doing, in a roundabout way, I know what I'm doing. Okay, let's uh, run, jump, and fuck into the, the sky, Benrex. Now, we know we don't get much from these Odysseus people in this middle column, so you know what, I might just fly oh, straight God. past them and we'll I go all the way up fly. to the top there and Those do what do we need to do. To Odysseus, uh, yes. And she's had them the entire time. Prometheus. Cool. Let's 
you get over there. But yeah, the graphics are really nice. And it has been upscaled for the PS5 as well, which is lovely. What's that banner doing? Okay, I guess the wind's blowing a little bit harder over that way. It looks like there is proper some physics going on here and stuff as well. As well, it's very nice. <laughs> it's a very beautiful game. Can't deny that, can you? I mean, look at that willow tree down there. That is such a beautiful model. Yeah. It has sort of like a Breath of the Wild type look to it. I'm really liking the visuals. It has to be said. Really like the visuals of this. I went up the other Phoenix side last time, didn't I? Have the I wonder what that flashing thing is in that statue's hand up there. Can I nick that? Can that be nicticated? You know I'm going to go nick that, whatever that is in that Why statue's hand. Hey look, there's some Maybe blue orbs here as well. Maybe I was supposed fire. to climb yeah, this way in I the first place. Oh, collect. Oh, fantastic. Is, is that going to give me more blue mushroom? When stamina is low, pull to... Oh, okay. Nice. Well, we'll have that as well, thank you. And I can just, I can actually just stand here anyway and get my stamina back, so I don't really need to eat the blue mushrooms. There we go. But we get that anyway. Cool. Jump. Jump. And collect a gate. I want to know what's in this, this statue's hand. Look at that. What is that? Some sort of blue glowing thing. I'm going to have that. That's going to be mine. Yep. Okay. We get my stamina back just by waiting and we climb all the way up. This is quite cool. I mean, she is extra clingy and sticky, this character. Well, you saw what happened when I was in that pool of water a minute ago. Sweet, what's that? Ambrosia? We've got some custard. Heck yes, we do. So, yeah, I don't know whether you have Ambrosia custard over in the, the US, but it's beautiful stuff. Can I smash them? Yes, I can. I'm a vandal. Sweet. And then we're going to head up this side. And hopefully, get inside there. Let's go then. Well. Oh, what's that over there? Hold on, chums. That looks like there's a hole in the wall and a kraken. Get off the freaking wall. Poseidon would never give up. Aha! Until We've got some bad people. Fell. That looks like Medusa. I don't know whether I should be over here at this stage of play. I mean, she's doing a bit of damage. Take that, Medusa. Yeah, get back to the realm of the Naga. Ah. Boom! Spikes, human spikes, spikes. You're down. No. Just no. Go away, Medusa. Well, she was easier than I thought she was. You know, if you've ever watched Jason and the Argonauts, you know that she's a, she's a bit of a meanie, that one. Take that. Where'd you get your awesome shield from? That's hard to get. From. There we are. The axe on the trick. Okay, so this looks like it's a smashable wall. Maybe you have to come back here when you've got a certain skill. Or... No, I can go in there now. Perfect. What does that mean? What does what mean? Anyway, see, I didn't even see this the first time I started to play, and did I, people? I mean, this is beautiful. And there's so much to look for and, and sort of explore, isn't there? This is this is pretty cool. Looks like there's another puzzle here. I'm not too sure what I'm going to stand on there or why I would stand anything on there. Hold L2 to aim. Okay. I don't think I've got to shoot through here or anything. I'm not too sure what... Ah! Oh, okay, I see. There we go. That should keep that lock. Oh, there we are! <laughs> and we're going to open this. Now, the puzzles so far, apart from how to open this chair, I mean, you know, I just smashed my hand are about the right level for me, to be honest. These puzzles have been fairly simplistic so far, and I've worked them out fairly quickly. But normally I'm not a massive puzzle solver. I mean, I have done that, um, or oh, what was it? The, the game that Hello Games put out there, The Last Campfire. That was a, that was a quite a nice little puzzle game. That was a beautiful little puzzle game in actual fact. And I enjoyed that one. Collect Ambrosia to put up your health. Okay, cool. All right, well, lovely. Ambrosia Custard and gives you special abilities. I think I better go around this side and get onto that little bit of clippage just over there, just in case my um, stamina gets a little bit low. I know I can eat those mushrooms, but I wasn't really paying attention to what button I press. <laughs> here we go. We've got that back. Awesome. Let's head on up here then. And let's see if we can do this puzzle the correct way this time, Jumps, without dropping them in water. 
and without balls in it up royally. Oh, we've got to fight those blinking roosters again, haven't we? Okay, well, we're back. We're back where we got to. You're just in time, Tom, for the action of putting marbles in place without pressing the wrong buttons. Can I do it? Skip Probably not. Right. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, yep. Cool. cool. You're not serious. But isn't that tuna? Salmon right. Come Poseidon. on, chickens. We're going down. Yeah. Take that. Chickens. Okay, L1. Special move time. There you go, chicken. I'm going to focus on this chicken. I'm going to kill this one first. And get him deaded. And dedicate all the rest. Right. Yeah. Can we do that again? Can I do it again? No, I've run out of stamina. Take this, chicken. Lick him. Yeah. Heal. Okay, there we are. Is that all of them? No. How has that one not taken any damage? Right, you, you, you crazy chicken. Holy fudge, I missed him with my... Right. No, oh, missed him again. No, I didn't. I got him. Die. Had almost recovered the At least you can kill song, chickens in this game. Would dispel you know, Cersei's curse. Killing chickens in something like Skyrim really I'm wasn't good. Hello there, Bobby. You oh, you're here, Bob, just you in time to see me kill a load of um, chickens. Anyway. Phoenix right, so this one here goes. Her let me go there. Giving her the strength to move. And that one. That's go not the strength there. of her ancestors. She's wearing the braces of Heracles. Right, let's this go do these puzzles some again. Magical and this time I get it freaking right. Those heavy things light. Prometheus, it's love. Ah! No, I've done it again with a freaking block. Oh, woof! I thought I got rid of the block then. That was not good. I don't know what it is, just in my head it's like, yeah, to put it down, yeah, press that button. But it's not that button, is it? It's, yeah. It's the button I used to pick it up, which is, yeah, that one. Maybe I just need to let go of L1, that's probably the best bet, isn't it? Yeah, I don't even think I need to press L1. It was, yeah, okay. Just climb over the freaking wall, there we are. No, don't stick to stuff. Okay, right, there we go. Okay, so yeah, you have to use L1 to pick it up, but then you can let go of L1 after that. I've got to get used to that. Brilliant. Ah, ha, ha, ha. We have it now. As long as I don't touch L1, I should be good. Right, this time, look where I'm going rather than at the chat. And hopefully I'm not going to fall in the pond and drop my marble. Okay, here we are. Sweet. And then... I'm going to stick this ball in this hole. Nice! And then we only need one more, which is up here. I've got another fight to do, people. Let's take these guys on. And hopefully we'll be at the end of the demo, I'd imagine. Hello! Alright, we know this guy is not my friend. In fact, he's a kid. So, that's what you get for being a kid. Yeah. I, I don't even think I hit anyone with that last melee there. Okay, let's get rid of the small guys, then we can get this big guy around here anyway. Right, he's stunned, so we might as well get a few hits in, might we? Uh-oh, dodge, that was too late, that was delayed reactions, okay. Alright, so here we are, let's get him, let's get him with my big hammer. Ah! That didn't stun you, how about now? No, that killed him. Wow! He went off into yonder. Look at him go! It's on freaking smoke. Okay. Uh, right, so we nearly lost my cube doing that though. Let's push this over there then. Lovely jubbly. You do kind of feel like a goddess in this game, it has to be said. I mean, she is seriously powerful. Now, as far as Greek goddesses go, there were a couple of powerful ones. Artemis the Hunter, she was quite cool. The Ar yeah. There was Athena. There was a couple of toughies in the old Greek mythology. So we go, let's go over here. Let's stick this one down on there. Boom! We have the Pearl of Wisdom. Come on then, Pearl of Wisdom. Yeah, it's probably not Pearl of Wisdom. But yeah, they almost look like they've got little galaxies in, don't they? They're all swirly. Pretty darn sweet. They look super, uber powerful. And there's me just playing with them on this like little um, solitaire board or something. 
do not put... Oh, look at all the little frogs, aren't they cute? They're pretty sweet. Okay, now let's put that in there. Uh-oh, wrong one. Come here. There. Not that one. The one in front of it. That one. There we go. Done! We have unlocked it. We've, we're done. And we've now got ourselves a lovely harp. Nice. These gods are spoiling us with these trinkets of awesomeness. Okay, we'll have that. Don't really know why we need a heart, to be fair. Okay. Cool. She has got kind of like a very sort of Zeldry type look Following to her, in Odysseus's footsteps, Phoenix was ready to break Return the curse. Return to the Cyclops and Island. The Am I going to fight the Cyclops? Die, die. Oh, there's a couple this of harpies I might have quest. to take no out one here, dies on a side quest. I'm Hello, harpies. Mine. Yeah, just ignore me. I'm just going to have this treasure that's in here. I'm only going to take a little bit, though, because that's all I can fit in my pocket. Okay, awesome. Hello there, harpies. Ah, have I got... I did have a bow and arrow a minute ago, didn't I? There we go. Take that. How would you like that? That's doing freaking nothing. What about that super shot? That um, R1 one? There we go. Boom! <laughs> That's pretty cool, the remote controlled arrows, I like that. And now there is haptic keypad in the actual joypad jumps. Oh, I got smacked to Katie. Right. Can I actually hit you while I'm in the sky? Yes I can! Yeah, how'd you like that? Whoa, fudging heck. Done! Okay, now we've got to go back to that island over there. Oh, okay, you're not dead. Darn it! I missed out an opportunity there. Okay, now you're dead. This game is freaking beautiful. Meow. I'm going to fly back to Cyclops Island. I thought that was a bad guy coming up behind me there, but it's not. You've got some sort of on-fire-like pigeon. I think it's supposed to be a, a, a phoenix, the bird of the ashes, isn't it? The firebird. Okay, cool. So what do you guys think of this game? Do you think it looks quite nice? Do you think it looks quite entertaining? Is it something that would appeal to you? I mean, it is on 50% discount on the actual store at the moment. But another, what I have noticed, though, is this game is only like 25 quid brand new. Anyway, even if, if you bought the disc copy, even on place... What is that crystal? Can I have this crystal? Can I nick this? No, I can, I can vandalise it. Okay. Uh, and that's giving me crystals at the top there. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with crystals. Okay, well, I'll head back up here then. And um, You know what? I'm just going to go fight the freaking Cyclops, I think. So I'm um, going up there. We'll just jump over here and we'll go see if we can wreck this Cyclops, shall we? Or he's going to wreck me, one or the other. There's a bear! There's a freaking bear over there. Nice! Some more mushrooms inside of that boat's hole down there. There's quite a lot to actually explore. I'm sure people could enjoy watching you play this game. Ah, so you see, I don't know. I mean, I just had to start the, the demo targets. all over again just because Philoctetes I fluffed up on a puzzle. I, I've probably done something that Heracles the devs never actually thought anybody would be stupid enough to do. So, I don't know. <laughs> I think they could end up watching me play and just getting frustrated and ripping their hair out, to be honest, to be honest Mr. Tom. That's kind of why I don't the play these sort of games all that much. No fire. Man's Sky is probably the best sort of game for me and my gaming ability. Alright. Oh yeah, there's a warthog there. Was the Cyclops... I think he was on ground level, wasn't he? He was over this way. It doesn't seem to be a very good run button. Uh, I, it's okay, I don't, want to, I don't want to attack you. You're fine. You go about your merry little way, little warthoggy friend. There's quite a lot of warthogs over here. Yeah, I think it's round this way anyway. And there's not really a, a move faster button. This is about as fast as she blinking goes, to be fair. Which is a little bit off. Okay. Is he above me? Because it doesn't seem to be getting any closer. Did I start up high? I think I must have done. Alright, let's go up there then. Climb! Fenrix, climb! <clears throat> okay. And... We need to find a way where I've got multiple places to perch and rest. So we go up here. Climb. Bacon. We could make bacon. So you've got there. You did. They might as well call this fast food island. We've had the KFC. We've got all the bacon that we need. 
You know, this is this is like a, a little mini heaven for meat eaters, isn't it? Oh, for fudge's sake. I'm never going to climb all the way up there now, am I? I was too busy reading the chat again. Oh, yeah, here we go. This isn't available um, on the mini fridge. The mini fridge. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Go. Jump. Jump. Jump again. Uh-oh. I'm running low on the old stamina again. Alright, I don't know whether those mushrooms, whether you can stand on them. I don't know whether they've got a hitbox or whatever. Jump off. Let's, let's see. Let's get my stamina back. Carry? Why the fudge would I want to carry a giant boulder? Okay. Let's go again and, and let's see if we can make it all the way up to the top of here. I don't know whether we will. I think the jumping climbing is probably my best bet. Come on, you can make it, Fenrix. Or we're gonna, we might fall again, people, and smash our face off the rocks again, like I did earlier. And that, that wasn't very pretty. Come on, you can make it. And we have got the mushrooms. I could, I could eat a mushroom, couldn't I? Let's do that. Yeah, eat one of them. Okay, that was supposed to give me back my stamina. It didn't. Frank Fudge, I just about made that. We was about to fall and die and smash our faces off of rocks there, chums. Okay, so 200 odd meters. Oh, get off the rock. Get off, come on. Climb down. Yeah. And uh, I want to go around. No, she is super freaking sticky. No, I'm not really overly into the way that she handles. And there's no ungrab button. She's just like she's made out of freaking super glue or something, this lady. Alright. She is proper sticky. Okay. Come on then, sticky lady. Climb up here. Oh dear. I think I'm going to fall to my doom. Hiya, Captain. Well, hello there, Radion Oakmont. Okay, we're up here now. So where's that dang Cyclops? This way. I think it's saying he's below me after all that freaking climbing. It says 130 odd meters this way. Okay, let's go. Let's just head towards there then. Let's just follow this bang on and see where it takes me. There he is. I see him. I platinum this game on my first playthrough. Dark Lord Zelric, you're a better man than I. Um, yeah. I don't think I've got. I've, I don't think I'm actually built for games like this. To be fair. Hi, Wolfie. Uh, don't smash that! Okay, okay, that's not how you play a heart, just just so you know. You see how she's struggling with that thing? Yet she's got the power of levitation. Of course, she would have used that, wouldn't you, you know? And just like that, Phoenix frees the Cyclops from Is he going to say thank you? I don't think he is. He's probably going to tear me a new one. I could be wrong. Oh, wise Cyclops. What is the secret of the gods? The Cyclops turned to her and spoke. Phoenix, yeah. the secret yeah. has been inside you all along. <laughs> what the? The Cyclops <laughs> said, I am Okay, Zeus is not a great storyteller. He's alive. How is that a secret? I've traveled yeah. back through time to prevent a terrible future from occurring. <laughs> what is that evil? I see yeah. Oh, come on. Actually, the Cyclops bellowed. I smell yeah. human flesh. Yeah. I'm going to liquefy your insides yeah. into an amphora after I toast your organs with my laser. With the laser eyes? No way. Yes, lasers from me. <laughs> Are you a child? I'm loving the, the humor. The, the light of the if I was to play this, I'm just going to be giggling Actually, all the way through it. This is freaking glass. awesome. No one the whole game is like this. Forget the laser. It's funny how. Ah, oh, dear. Okay, right, here we go. No, keep away from me. Um, yeah, dodge. Dodge again. Yeah, okay. Moves. Moves. Dodge. Okay. Slamity slam. How'd you like them? Yeah, um, just for you. Whoops, wrong way. Arrows. He's gonna throw that. I knew he was gonna throw that. Get him in the freaking eye. How'd you like them arrows? Whoa! Dodge that. Okay, arrows aren't really doing much damage. Holy fudge, that really hurts. Shit. Well, I was lucky I healed myself just as he hit me at the same time. Okay, if, if you actually are in an attack animation, you're a little bit scuffered. Yeah, okay. Um, 
Let's go for some spa special moves. Let's hit him with this giant freaking hammer. Okay, that done 200 of damage. That was pretty good. Let's see what this does. Did that actually hurt him? Yeah, we'll go for that then. Right, we'll wait for that to build back up. We'll keep hitting him with that freaking giant sledgehammer and hope that does the trick. In the meantime, we'll just dodge, uh, dodge stuff. No, put that down. You're going to hurt somebody with that. Dude. Oh, get. Okay, why is my stamina not going back up again? Is it because I'm running around like a crazy person? Probably is. That takes such a long time to eat a freaking mushroom. Get it, munch on. Okay, right, now let's, let's let's attack the kid. Take this, you! Have that! Yeah! Freaking Cyclops! Yeah, you can't throw that at me when I'm right freaking below you, can you? Ha! I think I found your weak spot! Oh, fudge! No! Big freaking foot on the face! You found my weak spot, you get. Okay, right. Oh! How the fudge did... I dodged straight into that one. It's like you predicted what I was going to do. Right, well I just used up all of my free... And it hardly even touched him. What's going on? Okay. Let's get up a bit higher and hit it. Yeah, I do like that. I've got a big freaking axe. There you are. Oh, fudge heck. Right, we're just going to go at him. We're just going to go at him. Because it doesn't seem to matter what I'm doing. It, it, it's, it's hardly scratching him. Okay, I've only got one left of them. Right. Maybe I should put it on easy mode. Right. Take that! Did that get him? It did a little bit. It's done a little bit of damage, but not much. Oh, we've staggered him! Slap him in the freaking head with your big axe! There we are. Take this! Evil, nasty, naughty Cyclops! Naughty, naughty! Naughty Cyclops! Take this! Ah, maybe my... Oh, fudge! Maybe my moves don't do as much damage when my stamina's low. Let's just stand over here for a bit. Let's get a little bit of breathing back. If he throws that, I'm gonna have to dodge it, aren't I? Take it. Ha ha! There you are. How'd you like that? Yeah, like a little freaking elf. Yeah, we're gonna be more tactful against you, my friend. Yeah. Ha! Ah. Ha ha! Yeah. And now we're gonna hit you. Yeah. It's time to die. Fudge. Yeah, if you commit to something, you've committed to it. Yeah. Okay, there's a little blue mushroom over there. That's going to give me back some staminas. We'll have that, thank you very much. Woof, fudge! The axe more stuns the sword for damage. Oh, okay, cool. Nice one. Oh, yeah, that, that's, that's what I It's a lot quicker, isn't it? Take this, you. Thank you, yes. I'm under tuition from Dark Lord Zelrin. You're in trouble now. Yeah! Special move! Yeah! Special move again! Take this, you! Yeah, we're just gonna go at him. I think we've got him. I think we've got him on the ropes, people. Yeah, you're mine! You're dead! And with that, Dark Lord Zelra! There we go. Who needs freaking Zeus in your corner when you've got Dark Lord freaking Zelric? Nice one, thank you, Dark Lord. The end! It is quite so good fun, Radio Nogment, and I really like all this sort of banter between huh? these two gods you telling this story. Oh, Zeus. Not one truth <laughs> in the entirety tale. of this ridiculous tale you have spun. I, Prometheus, am triumphant. What do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I was eating. You're right. This is so juicy. The fruit of Gaia. What can I say? Never make a bet when you're chained to a rock. He's got some real nice garments there. That's the secret of the gods. Oppression. Hey, did I just win the bet? I think we've just completed the demo, people. I think this might be it. That is looking pretty darn nice, though. It has to be said. Some of these bikes... Oh, you can swim. You can dive underwater. Sweet. It does look nice, I'm not... Wow. But some of it does look really cool, but... You saw how long it took me to get through the demo. It's not really my cup of tea. Although it's Greek mythology, it's the art style I like. It's the puzzle element that I'm probably not going to do as well. But then again, the puzzle wasn't too bad. I just fluffed up because I pressed the wrong button. So many puzzles. Ah, there's a lot of puzzles, is there? Hmm. 
yeah, might not be really for me for live streaming then, because I just get frustrated. Um, but yeah, that was great fun. Great fun. It's a very beautiful looking game. And if you do like puzzles, adventures and good humour, I would strongly recommend it. But it's not for me. It's not one for me. But even still, if I was to review this, I would probably give it, you know, high 80s, early 90s for look and feel and how it plays. The controls are fluid. And once you commit to a move, though, you're kind of locked into it, which is a little bit odd. And um, the dashing, the square button, you could you could see that. I dashed as he threw something and it just sort of locked onto me and hit me and stuff. There's a few things in it that are a bit, bit off, but the rest of it is it's just sublime. Really, really good. I, I really like it. It's good, but as I say, not, not for live streaming though. If I was to play it, I'd play it offline um, so I can throw my controller around. <laughs> but there we go. Yeah, it is like a little Zelda game. It's very, very cool. It's very nice. But there we go, people. Thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. I, I, I might pick it up if I see it desperately cheap. In fact, I've just got a new smartwatch and um, I've got a couple of smartwatches that I might sell. So I might just trade them at CEX and if I can get it for next to nothing on that trade, then I might pick it up. But there, uh, there we go, people. Take care. Goodbye. And then let's end off there. Awesome. Wrong button. There we go. That's the right button. Cheery bye. Have a good bank holiday. Oh, what I would say is I'm going to be on the Nexus Lounge later doing a load of stuff with um, PT. We're going to be talking about what we think might be in the new expeditions. That's at 8pm GMT. And even before that, at 4pm, holy f no, 5pm, a couple of hours from now, or an hour and a half from now, I'm going to be doing the EDF, the Earth Defence Force, with Damash Smash and Scottish Rod. We're going to be taking on some gnarly alien critters. Heck yes, we are. So hopefully see you for that, because that could be fun. And I'll be talking to them as well about what we might see in the next expedition. So today is a very busy day when it comes to Captain Stephen live streaming. <laughs> Aren't you in for a treat? But yeah, um, the Nexus Lounge is over on the Procedural Travellers channel, not on my channel. It's all through Discord, and he does all sorts of smart stuff that I haven't got a clue how to do. Anyway, take care. Bye-bye.